we are going to try to get by on less than 50 euros a day each. Very picturesque, but if these roads get any smaller, Tom, <laughs> we're in trouble. Oh, we're going to sleep well tonight, mate. Yeah. Hi everybody, welcome back to Sean's World. Now, you join us in Switzerland today. We are going to try to get by on less than 50 euros a day each. Is that the budget? The budget. Living as tourists in Switzerland. That might sound like, you know, perfectly doable, <laughs> but actually, um, after yesterday's... Yeah. Um, Yesterday, let's say we lived like millionaires. We lived like millionaires in Switzerland. Unfortunately, we didn't we didn't film with the camera, but um, yeah, we we got some clips on our, our phones, which you can insert here. And this is the beautiful lakeside view from Lucerne in Switzerland. And we are about to go to the top of that mountain by cable car for a spa. How fabulous! How lovely. Wow. Just when you thought we weren't going to get any better. How can we see dinner tonight? <laughs> quickly before we tuck in. This looks well, good, doesn't it? Let the food speak for itself. About 800 grams of meat there. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's get tucked in, mate. Well, it's been a busy day. Yeah, cheers. We, cheers we need this, we're hungry. So, uh, yeah, we had a fabulous day yesterday. We'll talk about that a bit more in detail later, but for today's video, the start of it. Yes. Um, we've had our breakfast. Yep. We've been very good, haven't we? Yes, so um, the budget for today each is 50 euros, which we will convert into to uh, Swiss francs, but they're about the same yeah. in, uh, in, in value. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we spent, I think it was two, two years 50 each for coffee, and yeah. that, that's it. So, um, so we that's, started uh, off okay. Yes, that's already a 20th of the budget gone. Yeah. Um, we're going to still go and do some activities. Yeah, you we've know, got some um, great stuff lined up. Yep. Um, you know, if we can get any freebies anywhere along the way, we'll, we'll definitely look into that. Yeah. Um, what but, about the camping? We're going to try and do a bit yeah, of... Yeah, we're going to try... Wild um, camping? Yeah, wild camping. Um, that means without a campsite where you have to pay. Yes, obviously we'll be doing everything in... Um, in according with Swiss Swiss, uh, Swiss laws, rules, yes. yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's going to um, be an interesting and yeah, bit it's going to be challenge. an adventure. Yeah, yeah, I've got a couple of ideas in plan. Oh, it's going to surprise um, me again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there have always been good surprises. Though, oh, I think. brilliant! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that spa yesterday was absolutely fantastic. It was, never, it was never, never had anything like that. No. Um, first, we travelled by boat. Didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Travelled there by boat to the Lucerne. foot of the mountains. Yeah, over Lake Lucerne. Lake um, Lucerne. Went up in the cable car. Yeah, cable and, car. Uh, yeah, um, which was all surprisingly expensive, but definitely worth it if, if you are yeah, here. Yeah, if, if you come this far, you, you just got to do it. So yeah. yesterday it was caution to the wind, and we lived like millionaires for a day. <laughs> Today we're yeah. living like tourists on a budget. Yeah, which um, I, I think yeah, the goal of today's video is to show you know, can you enjoy Switzerland? Yeah. On a budget. On a budget, yeah. yeah. There's only one way to find out. Yep. Let's get this road show underway. Let's go. So on this particular campsite, we've got a free bus pass. So we're going to go into town. Now we've got a real special surprise for you there. We see it last night. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's fabulous. I'll just say it's um, Lucerne's most famous landmark. Definitely, yeah. So fabulous. if you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, let's go and use this free bus pass. 
So here's the bus, let's hop on into town. So this is the fantastic Lucerne Bridge. It was built in the 14th century. It's spectacular. It's one of the oldest bridges in the world. And we walked through it last night. It's a little bit busy today, but it is absolutely spectacular, as is the whole area here. We've got the mountainous region behind us and Lake Lucerne. So we go and have a look at this bridge inside. Spectacular. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. through this bridge. It's beautiful oil paintings, all original. I think they de depict battle scenes. Yeah, historical past, past years gone by. Important events in uh, Switzerland's history. Yeah. Wow, what a view. Yeah, yeah. Stunning. So yesterday we was on that mountain there. Yeah, we it's were. called Mount Viggy. Yeah, that's the one, is it? Mount Viggy. On the cable car. Yeah. Spectacular views up there, as you can imagine. Yeah, millionaires, tourists today. <laughs> Budget tourists. <laughs> Budget tourists, yeah. We'll have a good time so far. Yeah. I mean, this is free as well, it's worth mentioning. Yeah, this is free, yeah. Access so, is free. with the free bus pass, we've only spent £2.50 so far on the, on the uh, coffees. But we've got a long way to go, so yes. who knows and, where uh, we yeah, up. Plenty to do, left to do in the day, so uh, I think we should uh, hit the road. Let's do it. Let's go. That's the pedal steamer that we went back on last night from the mountains. It was fabulous. A, a real working pedal steamer, 110 years old, 1909. So yeah, maybe a bit older than that. The maths is not so good today. But yeah, what a fabulous journey that was. So we're back on the road. Yep. Man in the chair. The man in the chair is back on the road. So um, yeah, um, I just wanted to say obviously the campsite we stayed at wasn't free. No. It was actually 50 euros, um, approximately, but we paid for it yesterday and uh, as well as diesel, so fuel for the for the camper van is trip. Yeah. yeah, we already filled up. So um, that is not gonna be um, factored into uh, cost. Yeah, this is just like spending money, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, so it's 50, no sight 50 euros for activities, food, um, drink, even internet, you know, if, if we have to, you know, pay somewhere to use internet. Yeah, it's, it's all got to be considered. All those sort of costs. So basically, any money that's gonna leave our hands today will be, Considered into, yeah. into I mean, it's total. quite a challenge in Switzerland. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, 50 euros a day in Switzerland is actually more of a challenge than, uh, than you'd think. More than it was in Germany. Yeah. So, yeah. Bring plenty of money if you're coming to Switzerland. <laughs> or not. Or not. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. If we can, if we can show that you can uh, get by for 50 euros a day. Yeah, just have a budget. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we're, we're setting a budget and we're going to see how, how well we can stick to it. <laughs> um, Quite refreshing after yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's see uh, what beautiful um, sights Switzerland has to offer. And uh, yeah, where are you taking us? You're the navigator, I'm just a driver. Yeah. Well, I know you like your castles, Dad. I know you like a chateau. So um, I think we'll check out one of the, one of the, uh, Switzerland's most famous chateaus today. It's fine by me. All within the budget. Wow. So let's go. I don't know if they pick up on the camera, but there's about 50 red kites, which are a um, species of bird of prey, all flying above the road. And that is pretty incredible. Look at that from view. Wow. Dress, but if these roads get any smaller, Tom, <laughs> we're in trouble. Yeah. Welcome to Flulie. Oh, I can't even say that. <laughs> Flu Flulie. 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 There we go. 
Yeah. Fluffy jubbly. Yeah. That was a, a white knuckle ride, Tom, that yeah. I won't I won't lie about but it. But it was it was a, it was a very beautiful route though. Oh, it was fantastic. But what I didn't know was they blocked the traffic coming the opposite way, so I didn't know, I thought there was gonna be oncoming traffic. Potentially, yeah. Potentially. And uh, there was no way of turning round. You couldn't reverse back, no. so a little bit of jeopardy there. Because there was there there was a uh, roadworks. Yeah, diversion. I think that was just for the manning goats that track. It worked, <laughs> it worked for camp, six foot four, uh, six meters long camper vans. Yeah, so, uh, it would have been so bad if it was only six foot long, wouldn't it? Yeah. Eighteen feet, isn't it? Yeah, six meters. Yeah. So it's anyway, stunning. we're nearly there at yeah. the uh, destination. Wow, well, we're here. We can't go any further in that camper van. <laughs> We're running out of road. It's not the easiest. Yeah, we can just park here though. Yeah, and, uh, it's not the easiest have thing a little to look look. around. Um, so yeah, there's basically a hiking trail that leads up to this uh, top of the mountain. I don't think we'll be going all the way to the top today, but it's definitely worth coming here and just having a look oh, at the beautiful yeah. mountains. Yeah, especially considering we're on a budget for food. I'm getting hungry. You've done really well, Dad, uh, in the camper van, getting up these thin, narrow roads. Yeah, it won't be so bad in the car, but mm. it doesn't tell you not to come up these tiny you've, you've tracks. You've got a lot more grey hairs on your yeah. head now than you yeah, did definitely. I need at the holiday. beginning. I need another holiday. Right, let's go and have a look up there. I don't know if the uh, camera does it justice, but this is truly a beautiful sight and the mountains really are something quite magnificent wow a bit yeah a bit lost for words really a bit yeah speechless it's a pretty cool place pretty special place very calm and serene and uh, yeah a, a nice contrast to the uh, busy city of Lucerne here, yeah, Dad, can you uh, give us a little uh, something you've been working on? Yodley! Why do it too loud? I think I'm in distress. <laughs> now, there, there is other hikers here. Um, it's a beautiful remote spot uh, if you do like hiking. Yeah, there's some yeah, trails here. We're, we're not going no. um, on a full hike today. This is more of like a, Just a, a picturesque stop uh, stopover. Yeah, yeah on, on route to. Um, Famous Clear Castle. Can't wait for that one, yeah. I'll tell you. So, um, yeah, I'm getting a bit hungry now. I think you are too. I am, yeah. Well, I know for a fact because you've been going on about it for the past it's half rumbling. hour. It's rumbling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was an avalanche, but it's just something. Um, no, it's, uh, this took my mind off it, admittedly, yeah. this scenery. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to get it on camera. But yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, it does come up on camera, but like not to like the scale, like just yeah, how the vastness. huge these mountains really are. Yeah. Well, not on a camera like this anyway. I mean, yeah. it's a good camera, but you know. Right. All right. Let's find somewhere to get some grub, I think. Let's go. So obviously the great part about um, going to places like this in nature is that it's free so yet again we haven't actually spent anything so far uh, apart from the two euros 50 coffee we had in the morning but uh, we don't we don't start filming without a coffee in the morning do we <laughs> but that could, the budget could all change any moment now. yes yes you never know what's around the corner yeah we need some food I think we're gonna maybe buy some cheese as well yeah um, that will come into it um, we're going to the castle, so you need to pay to get in there. Um, we're also going to have a nice beer, I think, in the evening and dinner as well. So, um, yeah. yeah, there could still be... Challenges on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still not completely sure it could be done. Well, you know, and enjoy, you know, a, a truly authentic Swiss Alpine experience, you know. Well, we have already and we've only spent 250. <laughs> yeah. It was, it's a perfect place to play for some frisbee. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Boomerang, maybe, but not a frisbee. <laughs> oh, why? Uh, we did buy a frisbee, but yeah. no, I'm not playing it here. <laughs> I know what side I'd be on. It'd just keep going, wouldn't it? Yeah. Back down to Lake Geneva. You can see how the uh, shape for the Toblerone was inspired. 
Yeah. Or the landscape here. Look at this one. That is like a tobler on that one. Hey, look at this. It's a mill pond. I think you can. I don't think you can swim in there. Can't get in there. No, you've got to. Well, wow, this is unexpected, isn't it? Yeah. That water is so clear. Incredible. But I am getting hungry, so. Uh, yeah. Definitely. I think we'll go back down and. Uh, yeah. Get something to eat. It was a lovely plunge pool there, but you had to pay to go in there. Yeah, we decided not to for the budget. It would have been uh, uh, five francs each. But yeah, I mean, you were saying off camera, Dad, like you can just be walking around and then, yeah, then in the middle of nowhere, sitting in a an incredible mill pond inside of the you know, Rocky Mountains. Yeah, I mean, the water was so clear, wasn't it? Oh, it was it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know you could get water that clear apart from how, water. <laughs> how the tap sort of yeah. thing. Amazing place. Yeah, yeah. lovely. So now I've got to try and turn around. Um, I don't want to bottom it out on the corner of this. So Tom, if you can spot for me. Yep, I will. I'll and, uh, try my best to uh, I'll try my give best. you some directions. This could get a little bit risky. We don't want to damage the camper van, do we? <laughs> it's the last thing we want to do. We've already paid enough. <laughs> Chocks away. town now at the bottom of those mount, stunning mountains um, we just looked at the menu for this one and it starts at 1950 each so it's a no-no for today's video yeah I think otherwise so. I think we would have ate Definitely, yeah yeah um, we do barbecue and stuff I mean it looks like a pretty cool place yeah I mean lovely. it's not overly expensive no for Switzerland it's not but for budget reasons I think there looks like a little sort of shop cafe there that I think we're probably yeah, going to have a look in there. And we're probably going to have a look in there. Yeah. yeah, okay. So it's 1750, please. So we've just pulled over by the side of the road for some lunch. Now um, it's come to 1750, and 1750 divided by two is 8 euros 75 cents. So we've, we've only gone a little bit over 10 euros so far and we've done quite a lot. Now we could have bought some cheaper food, but um, what we went for is we went for some lo local produce. So we got this sausage, which is called a house roll versed. And this is made by a local farmer that the lady in the shop told us. We got this lovely cheese. Jod Lacasse. And we got this rather interesting bread, which is made with milk from the cows. It's from kind the of like mountain. A, it kind of looks like brioche, but it's it's not. It's made with butter and milk. It's Ooh. savoury, and uh, so yeah, that looks really nice. Pull that there. And these crisps, which um, are a Swiss brand, we sort of thought they looked nice. Yeah, and, you know, we like luxury for us. We like chili, so we thought we'd give them a go. And there you go. So without further ado, we're going to get uh, tucked into this. Hurry up and get on. Um, with the rest of the day because we're running a little bit behind the schedule. There's been some road works But anyway now it's peace finally some peace and quiet from all the traffic and yeah, dad Let's just let's just eat and get on eh? Bon appetit Oh, yeah, see why they yodel <laughs> It's nice the uh, crisps or chips are quite nice as well. Yeah, it's all delicious. Let's tuck in about we'll further We'll have to eat on a budget more often, Tom. This is the town of Emmental. Mm. Famous, 
famous the cheese. The cheese. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look who it is. Oh. You didn't tell me it was at the top of the mountain. Oh, yeah, it is. I have to hurry up and uh, get here. It said on the website that it shuts at six, oh. but it actually shuts at seven, so we've got a bit more time than we thought, but <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that, was hot, a, that was a trick. Yeah, we got her in the hot. End. Yeah, but like, what a view though. Look at this. Oh, spectacular. So, how much was the parking? One euro. One euro parking. Yeah, I don't know how long I've got. Just okay. kept taking buttons until I've got a ticket. <laughs> so, to get up uh, here. Yeah, so that's 50 cents added to the, the budget that needs right. to be factored in. And uh, yeah, I think the entrance here is like about 12 euros. So, uh, let's get in there. Yeah, let's go. After you. Wow, it's like stepping back in time. There's yeah. a medieval um, reenactment going on here. I think I think it's all summer, so all if summer. you're uh, okay, in the area yeah. of uh, in costume. Geneva in Switzerland. Ooh. Yeah, let me just show show them around. Yeah, some uh, there's some great views here. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, so uh, what do you think? Should we just go and have a look yeah, around? Yeah, just and, have uh, a around. Along. Not too much talking. Yeah, just looking. Yeah, sure. Let's go. some pottery bowls like these here. I think I might still have one. See, but I've actually got one of these, probably the same era, and uh, there's several things here that I have, so it's really good to see it in its original habitat. Sword of a scalper. <laughs> <laughs> or night to Sir Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look very heavy. How, how much does it weigh? Is it a... if it was a normal one, you could easily trust someone. But it's only one head. So it also is a one head, so it's not a Yes, but you can't put this part. I've got my uh, helmet in the car. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not that heavy. But... Yeah, I'm going to put it back for you. Fearsome. I have some drop it Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Imagine running up that hill with that on. No, <laughs> I'm still out of breath for about 10 minutes ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they were fit. All right, can we do that again? You zoomed in. I'm out of breath just looking at it. Can you imagine running up the hill with that on? Uh, mate, I'm out of breath from 10 minutes ago. Holding a sword. 
you get to the top, you have to have a drink. When you sit down. <laughs> they have half time. Yeah. That's what the seats are halfway up, I think. Yeah. That for a bit of iron mongering. Wouldn't want to lose your keys for this door, would you? Some smaller ones of these. That big. Exactly the same style. Beautiful paint I think you'd really need to spend maybe a good half a day here. Yeah, you could spend yeah. easily three hours here, I think. Yeah, when we're we're, we're yeah, we yeah. we're on a tight schedule. But it was definitely um, definitely worth the admission fee of oh, brilliant. Yeah. twelve euros. Oh, look at this. Where did you see this? Yeah. Versailles? Yeah. Right, there's so much to see. Let's go. Have a look at this view. Wow. Just had a bit of a joke of him, didn't he? Yeah. It has to be quiet, some of them are still asleep. The joke being that the, the people under blankets sleeping, but I think, what are they supposed to be, uh, cannonballs covered up or yeah, something? Yeah, this is the armoury. Yeah, so if any uh, attackers were, were coming, they'd have to face this beast. Not me, the cannon. I've been fed. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. There's a secret staircase in there. Wow, there is as well. You couldn't script this stuff, could you? Yeah. <laughs> Got a movie set. Real. Oh, that's the uh, call to beer. Beer o'clock. Right, let's have a drink. Wow. That's lovely. The man froze them on the pottery wheel himself. In the old, old traditional way. That's like a dairy bowl. So I think our budget will stretch to a few souvenirs. Royal jelly. I think that one was honey. honey. Pollen, pollen. Can't remember that one. <laughs> but they all smell beautiful. Um, these are soap, of course. Yeah. I think we might buy one for Mum. Yeah, I think so. Okay. What one? You get one of them. Yes. Are you going to get Mum one? Yeah, this is me getting Mum one. Then. Right. So I'm going to get Jasmine one. Okay. And then. Okay, so there's six euros in the budget gone at the 50. Yeah. 
we need to sit down and tally it up before we, <laughs> we go too crazy. Uh, well, I'll go with that food tonight. No, <laughs> but I think I think we can stretch six euros of our budget. We've got plenty, so that's that's pretty cool. Okay, we'll okay, do it. let's do it. So we've spent a total of 12 euros at six each on some soaps for our yep. loved ones back home. But yes. You've got to buy these things, it's all part of the experience. They're made of honey and uh, they're uh, oh, traditional yeah. fantastic soaps. Yeah. Medieval traditional soaps. Right, let's uh, crack on and look around the Yes, yeah, still the so the much to see. Yep. So just by chance, it's we, we kind of stumbled upon a medieval festival in the chateau, didn't we, Tom? Yes. And what's it, the name? It's called the Saint Jean, so Saint John's Festival. Saint John's Festival. So this only happens uh, one weekend of the year. Okay, that was good timing. Yeah, so we, we just got lucky and arrived, so yeah. um, it's not always, you know, always quite, like so, this. quite surviving. Yeah. Wow, what an atmosphere. Brilliant. Yeah, it's great, yeah. We've just been speaking to the owners, haven't we? Or the well, people that run the A, a lady who the works in the organisation, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're going to send her a copy of the video before we put it out. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Brilliant place. Great view. Well worth a visit. Yeah. So we had to buy some mineral water. Pay three euros for it, so that's got to come out of the budget. It has, yeah. What are we up to in now? total? I don't know, we'll have to check and, and run the numbers. I think we're okay still. I mean, I think it'll appear on the screen how much we've spent, but yeah, yeah. We've, we've got plenty of, plenty of room left. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, that's quite a bit favorite. of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting place. It's like they've used it as a wash bowl. Yeah, um, for those of you that don't know, my dad, uh, he loves buying collecting and selling copper. He has yeah. got an Etsy shop yeah. where you can find many different copper pieces for sale. Um, and uh, we've got an online shop now, haven't we, on the website? Yes, there's also an online shop on the website selling um, handmade things by, by dad, um, wooden pieces, etc. And stuff we get on our journeys around filming. Yeah. So some featured pieces. Yes. Welcome to Shawsworld.com. That's the name of the website, yeah. yeah. Bowls, that's full of garlic. <laughs> wow, that's your dream snack, isn't it, Dad? <laughs> yeah, I do like a bit of garlic, yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. Oh, that's what we could smell, Tom. Mm. Curry, yeah. It's a sheep. Sheep, what? Wow. Delicious. Is it um, curry? Uh, spices? Uh, uh, carried out. Nice. Uh, saffron. I don't know what they... Saffron? Saffron. Saffron. Ginger. Saffron. Okay. Lovely. Like a traditional meal, I should imagine. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Telly's done that before. Yeah, it was very kind of them to let us uh, film let here us film, and yeah. uh, show the uh, Fête de Saint-Jean, which I believe is the last weekend of June, every uh, last weekend of June. Here they do the medieval f uh, festival. Banqueting and that, yeah. It's so really... it's not every weekend, it's the no. medieval festival here. It's really interesting to see them using all those old implements, lots yeah. of them that I've still got. Yes. You know, so they go back hundreds of years. Yeah. So yeah, I was really fascinated to see that. So, we are finished here, we're going to get back in the camper van and we're heading where, Tom? We're heading to Montreux by Lake Le Mans, so the Ooh. famous, most famous lake of uh, Switzerland. And uh, we're going to have something, something to eat. And, uh, <laughs> With our leftovers. Yeah. We've got to have a tally up, yeah, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we've got to count, the, count how much money of the 50 euros is left. And uh, I think we might still have enough to order a beer as well. Okay, that'd be a bonus. Okay. Right, let's get going. See you down there. Yeah. So we've now got 17 euros and 25 left after our little spend up, so we have to be extra careful for the rest of the day. Yep, we've got to uh, get some dinner and uh, it'd be nice to get a beer as well. Um, hopefully where we're going we can uh, manage that for our budget. We'll try our best. Right, how far have we got to go? Only about a uh, 40 minutes drive. Okay. And then uh, no more driving, I think. Only a little bit more <laughs> after dinner. Always a road trip. Yeah, after all. Whew. And in the chair. 
Yep, man way in the, the chair, road. way out of the road, let's go. So we've run into a bit of an issue, haven't we? We're in the uh, town of Montreux, yeah. and uh, it's hard to find somewhere to park the old camper. Um, it's kind of... Too long. Yeah, it's, the camper's too long, and it's very sort of narrow, winding roads. It's kind of a bit like the French Riviera. Yeah, it is. In some some ways. Ways. They call it the Riv Riviera. Do they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's getting on a little bit now, but hopefully we can find somewhere in the next sort of half an hour. Um, we have been uh, on the road for about an hour, um, just driving around, probably here for about 20 minutes, looking for somewhere. So, um, fingers crossed, and uh, yeah, but I'm not looking too, too hopeful. So still no luck, um, we're just thinking about what to do, um, who would have thought the biggest challenge would have been the parking and not the, uh, the budget. So yeah, we've been driving around the uh, town of Montreux for a near hour. Um, don't come to Montreux if you're in a camping car. The, <laughs> the roads are just impossibly too, too windy. No parking Space. spaces. Yeah, there's literally you know not an, a square inch of space here to park. You know if you're larger than a regular sort of family car. So um, lovely looking area, but just can't yeah. stop to see it really. No, so um, we're going to try finding a campsite maybe. So um, yeah, we'll we'll uh, touch touch base in a few instants. We finally found somewhere to park. All we need now to do is find somewhere to eat. So we've managed <laughs> to find a restaurant, and it's a Vietnamese restaurant. Yeah, a restaurant that looks edible because. Um, yeah, it's uh, good ratings. You checked it out. Yes, this, uh, this restaurant is 4.9, 58. Um, if it's good, we'll we'll leave a, a link we'll to it. Yeah, we just had one dish at each, didn't we? Yeah, we're just getting a curry, which is actually 17 francs. 17. That's so about 17 euros. So with this, we are just under budget. <laughs> it's a miracle. I think, that is yeah. a miracle. Yeah, yeah. It was a challenge. Uh, we found somewhere where we don't have to pay tonight to, to camp. So. Yeah, yeah. We, we're not there yet, but um, no. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure we <laughs> we'll can find you know, somewhere. We'll let you know tomorrow yeah. if we complete the challenge. Uh, but I, I would say, as advice to some, like to a person who was looking to come to Switzerland, be aware of parking availability. That's yeah. the number one priority. And the cost. It's the cost is Europe. expensive. Yeah, yeah most but of Europe. Isn't you it? can you can do it on a budget. Yeah, it's just that you know you need to sort of get do your the, homework yeah do your homework line. and find you know a suitable campsite i think mm. because the best nights we've had of you know we've had four nights so far they've all been in, in campsites so yeah. Um, yeah it just it, makes it easier for, you there, yeah so. you've got the uh, facilities there and you ain't got no height and restrictions so. and yeah height restrictions and such which uh, yeah can uh, you know when you go around these little spanner in the works windy road sometimes you go around the corner and you just can't carry on you have to yeah. reverse and yeah. that ain't fun so no yeah plan your route yeah <laughs> i've got a good navigator so we yeah we try and stack of we really yeah no um it's been difficult and challenging at times but we go in the end yeah it's had me stuck up the yeah. side of a mountain and all sorts so do you do you think we blow the budget on a, a vietnamese beer <laughs> or do you think we try and stick to it no i'm not having a beer no, I'm going to stick to the budget. Okay, it's well, for you, you, you accomplish it. If, if you're a reasonable tourist like my dad, you, you can, can do, do it. it. If, if you're unreasonable like me and you You've blown splash the budget. out on beer too much. Oh, right, so then, you're blowing your budget. Yeah, I'm blowing my budget. Oh, I'm getting a beer. Right, you're sacked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, looking forward to something to eat then. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's uh, wait until the food comes. So you got your meal, Tom, what do you yep. think? Well, let's try, I mean, it smells good. Uh, it looks delicious. Yeah, it does look nice, good reviews online. So um, this is beef, it kind of doesn't really look like the color of beef, but um, I think it's the sauce, so let's yeah. try. Enjoy. Right, we're gonna get stuck in. Thumbs up, that's nice. good sign. Right. Yeah, it's definitely beef. <laughs> that's tasty and quite spicy as well. I think you're gonna like this one, Dad. Lovely. Bad for a view, is it? Pretty good. Yeah, 
just a shame where we ended up it wasn't very nice it was like a little French sort of resort town and uh, yeah it weren't it weren't very nice it weren't the kind of place we wanted to I mean, it sounds nice, doesn't it? A little French resort town, but there was, yeah, it weren't very tidy or clean. Back, back street, wasn't it? Yeah, it was run down the town, you know, with some questionable people about. So, um, yeah, I think uh, I think we're making the best call going back to nature, and we've got a nice, um, safe place to park, and it's completely free. So, yeah. However, the, the food was really good, wasn't it? Wasn't it? A Vietnamese yeah, curry. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it was called Bol Ban. So yeah, I recommend if you find yourself in the same predicament as us and you can't park in Montreux, go to Balban and uh, yeah, go somewhere else. There was just no infrastructure for any any tourism, really. Any not there was just no infrastructure for any camping cars, really. So, this is a fancy yeah. sort of town. Unfortunately, we're not staying in one of these hotels tonight. No, we're on the budget end. Yeah. Of the scale. Yeah. So uh, let's let's head to our spot for the night. So we made it in the end. We're in this <laughs> lovely alpine location, and uh, yeah, there's some other camper camper vans here. You can just park up, and it's free. Yeah. Very no natural. Yeah, which is pretty of cool. A, a ski school. Yeah, ski slope going yep. up. There is a ski slope there as well, of course. Yeah. Um, so yeah, pretty nice location. You can hear the cows. <laughs> the bells, bells. ringing. Yeah. Let's Hopefully see. that quietens down tonight. <laughs> so uh, yeah, well, quite a hectic day. Well, yes. it's been a hectic few few days, isn't it? Yep. And uh, I'm proud to say that we did come under budget. So yes, it yeah, can be done. It can be done. And we did it. Will I recommend it? I think. Personally, um, Germany's probably better value for money. Yeah, I think Germany edged forward yeah, for me. Yeah, I uh, preferred, you know, I thought the, personally, the uh, German people were friendlier. Yeah, from what we experienced. yeah, they seemed a little bit more helpful and friendlier. Yeah. Um, there's pros and cons. I mean, the landscape here is unbeatable. unbeatable. Yeah, the yeah. Alps is just beautiful, yeah, isn't it's it? Well worth coming to see. Mm. Um, yeah, the landmarks are well worth seeing. Um, yeah. The resorts down by the lakes. In a camper van, definitely not. It's, no. it's not. it's not set up for for um, attracting campers, really, no. which is quite unfortunate. Um, Montreux, anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would rate Germany nine, maybe Switzerland seven to eight. I mean, it's got to be an eight, I think. I mean, yeah, eight. Yeah, the, for the, the, the cities and the towns that. are pretty cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think it's. it's um, they weren't that prefer. friendly to us. They weren't like. I mean, it's been a mixed mixture, really, but um, yeah, there's, there's some that have been helpful as well, of course. Yeah, yeah, but it, yeah. it just doesn't Not feel like so much of a welcoming place Not as, as authentic, is it? As, some of yeah, as, as where we went to in Freiburg, for instance. You know yeah. how the people were there. Um, so overall, yeah, a real we've great road trip. Got these beers. Um, yeah. We already had these, so it doesn't really. They don't get count. any budget. No. no. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we've had a, a fantastic time. Thanks for watching the video. still got a day left. Yeah, thank you for watching the video and uh, I suppose thumbs up if you want to see more. Yeah, if more you like this sort of content. Vlogs like this. Hit the subscribe <laughs> yeah. button. Oh, we're going to sleep well tonight, mate, yeah. aren't we? Uh, we'll, we'll see you all in the next video. Yep, so cheers. Cheers. Bye for now. Bye for Thanks now. for watching. Bye bye. Oh, it's nice. That is nice, isn't it?